Hello and welcome to the Valkyrie build video. We developed this RC jet ski together with Pascal Robert. And in this video I will show you how to build it step by step. First of all, the Valkyrie is powered by the MJet 35 jet pump, which I made videos about earlier. To build the Valkyrie you also need all parts of the MJet 35. I will provide all information about that in the description. Let's start the build by taking a look at the part list. I am providing this in the description. The Valkyrie needs all the MJ35 parts except the housing which is integrated into the rear hull. What we are looking at right now is the part list specifically for the Valkyrie, which doesn't include the MJ35 parts. I will start by cutting some polystyrene flotation pieces for the front hull based on my paper printed templates. The drawing is designed for 28mm thick foam sheets, but if you have a different thickness it doesn't mind because this will help you anyway. The shape of the flotation is not meant to be perfectly accurate. The drawing just provides some help to pack as much foam into the front hull as possible, to prevent the hull from sinking in case of an unexpected accident. I am using a home built hot fire cutter to cut the polystyrene foam. After some trimming you will eventually be able to pack a good portion of the foam into the front hull. After you make sure that the flotation fits into the hull, you can proceed to making the glued joint. At first I highly recommend to pre-tap the hose with an M3 screw, just to create the thread and make the work easier. Keep in mind that these holes are under an angle, so don't try to make the hole straight. To glue the hull together I am using epoxy. The screws will greatly help you to align the hull properly. And you also don't have to clamp it afterwards. After tightening the screws, the epoxy will start flowing everywhere, so I am just wiping this off here. And this is the front joint finished. Now let's prepare the threaded holes in the rear hull. This process is very similar. Before working with the epoxy, I recommend taping off the whole pump interface to prevent any epoxy drips in the motor mount area and so on. Now that you are gluing the whole hull together, you will have a bit limited access to the screws. But because they are angled, it won't be a problem.
The next step is to work on the lid interface. We need to glue the lid base to the hull. Together with a TPU lid this will create a nice seal. The lid base will just slide in easily and you can let it cure. My next step is to glue in the brass water cooling pipes. This is the same as in the MJ35 build video, which I will link in the description. The only difference is the location of the outlet water cooling pipe. Now I will be spray painting the black parts of the hull, so I am taping off the rest. You can also emphasize the black Valkyrie logo on the stern. Now I will be clear coating the whole hull, so I am taping the lid part off to not let drips in. Applying the clear coat should seal the hull completely. Now here comes the pump assembly. This is the same as in the MJ35 build video. So if you need to see this in more detail, please watch that video. I will leave the link in the description. In addition, I am also using threaded inserts to hold the turn fins. Though during the testing, we found out that the turn fins don't work as nicely as on my 4G sprint hull. Anyway, the mount is there and you can use it or you might not. During the pump assembly, just pay attention to the seals. You might need to enlarge the slot a little bit, as I had to do, because of a fat first layer. Just be careful to not damage the seals. Before assembling the rest of the pump, I will use a velcro to create a mount for the battery. You will need a self-adhesive velcro for the bottom and also a velcro loop to secure the battery in place. I will skip the rest of the pump assembly and show you the result. After assembling the pump, we can get to mounting the accessories. I will start with the gouges. This M5 grab screw will later hold the seat in place. And let's use the handlebar. And optionally you can add the turn fins, you will see what it does to your boat. I will also mount the true base stereo speakers. and glue the front lights using just a tiny bit of epoxy. Lastly, I will show you how I ended up mounting the electronics. I tested multiple positions of the ESC to change the CG, and the best position seems to be in the front. Right here I have the ESC on the right side, but for the final version I will change the battery mount to mirror it and put the ESC to the left, to counterweight the servo, which is on the right. You can also use the receiver dry box, which is the grey box right there, which you can also scale up a bit depending on your receiver. And now let's get to the final part, which is the seat. Pre-tap the holes with an M3 screw just as before.
because the seat will be fully closed afterwards. You might need a drain hole in case any water gets into it. It should fully seal, but this is just in case. Otherwise, the process of making the seat is the same as when joining the hull. I will be once again spray painting the seat black, so I am taping off the other parts. There's an optional slot for the filament inlay, which you can use to emphasize the curve under the seat. I am using super glue to secure it in the slot. Now I am once again using clear coat to make sure that the seat will seal. This is important because the seat also works to self ride the Valkyrie when it flips over. Lastly we can add some nice details like this gas cap and the seat bar. You can also test if the seat seals correctly. The final piece of assembly is this knurled knob, which will hold the seat in place. And if you have come this far, congratulations, you have finished building the Valkyrie. If you have any questions regarding the Valkyrie or any other MJET design, feel free to ask in the comments or in the official MJET Facebook group, which I will link in the description. Also remember to check Pascal's channel to see more videos about Valkyrie or his other designs. Have a nice day and make your boat fly!